Good morning. Thank you for showing up this morning. <laughs> it's an interesting way to be interacting online. I, it's still taking me a little bit to get used to, but thank you for coming. Hello everybody, my name is Trisha. I'm not sure if any of you have moved with me before, but if you haven't, welcome. We're gonna be doing a vinyasa class this morning and it should be one that gets you nice and sweaty, gets a little bit of work in, and also gives us a chance to stretch and breathe together even though we're all doing it in our own homes. So all I'm gonna be really using today is gonna to be a mat. If you'd like, you can always bring a blanket alongside you if you wanna have it kind of just in case for padding of the knees and things like that, but we're gonna keep it pretty simple and pretty basic today. So I'd like for us to all start in sitting. You kinda of get comfortable. I always like to take a little bit of movement before anything else. Maybe rolling around the shoulders a couple times, giving myself a few little tweaks just to see with that kind of movement how the body reacts, how the body's feeling this morning. And then eventually just start to find a place where you can be still. So you might start to let the eyes close for a moment, let the shoulders relax down the back, relaxing the skin of the face. And try just drawing your shoulders backwards a little bit, sitting up a bit taller, like there's a string here at the top of your head pulling you towards the ceiling. And maybe this morning, on this beautiful Saturday morning, we can start with our hands over our heart. So just softening into this space, taking a really nice deep breath in through the nose. Let's take this first exhale out of the mouth. And just give yourself a chance to be still here making any observations about how you feel, what you feel. And try to simplify the things that you have to be aware of and just start paying attention to your inhales and your exhales. Let's try breathing together for a few rounds before we start our movement. So I like to count. We'll do inhales for a count of six and exhales for a count of six. And just for us to meet up and be on the same page, let's all take one really nice deep breath in now. Another full exhale out of the mouth. And then we'll start a slow inhale here for one, two, three, four, five, six. And exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, two, three, four, Five, six, and exhale, two, three, four, five, six. One more, inhale. And exhale. Final big breath in. And a full exhale out the mouth. Let's take a moment here to move the hands into a prayer position in front of the heart, tipping the forehead down towards the fingertips just for a moment, perhaps letting your mind dance upon all the things that you have to be grateful for. One last breath in and out, and then we can slowly start to release that, fluttering the eyes open nice and gently. Good morning again, everybody. Let's start to place the hands here on the knees. We're going to be doing a really simple cat-cow here. So when your next inhale comes, you're gonna bring your chest forward, pulling back on the knees, maybe even lifting the chest, the chin slightly. And then with your exhale, you're gonna round the back, tucking the chin, leaning into it. Let's do that two more times, breathing in again deeply, heart forward, chin up. And exhaling to round the back, use your knees as leverage here. Last time to really shine the heart forward. And exhaling to curl it all the way back. Okay, come up to a neutral spine. Start to interlace your fingers here, flipping your palms away from you. We're just going to add the arms on to a very similar movement that we just did. So with your next inhale, again, chest comes forward, but this time the arms also come up. You can maybe look up towards your hands. 
And then as you exhale, you round your back and push your hands towards the front, maybe bringing them all the way down towards the floor. Another two rounds just like that. Feeling that expansion as you lift the arms and look up. And exhaling here to round your back into something like cat pose, tucking the chin, following your hands with your gaze. Last time, breathe in. And breathe out. Let's once again come into a neutral spine. You can rest your hands back down on your knees and just take a moment to be still here to check in with something even as basic as that. How's the body feeling? We're gonna try breaking down a little bit of that movement and we'll do something that'll just incorporate the shoulder blades and not so much the back. So to start, we're gonna have the hands come out at about shoulder height. I'm gonna to turn to the side here so you might get a better view of what's going on. You're trying to keep your spine mostly neutral. Back is not gonna move like it did before. And all we're gonna to try to do is squeeze our shoulder blades together behind us and then widen the shoulder blades apart. Okay, we'll try that a couple times here. So we're pulling shoulder blades back into retraction and then widening them, pushing the hands forward for protraction. And there at home on your own, you can just kind of wiggle through a few more of those movements, maybe matching them with breath, maybe not. And just making any observations to see about how the shoulders are moving along the rib cage, if there's any asymmetries or preference for one of the movements. And then after this final tweak forward and tweak back, we're gonna let the hands come back down again to rest. Okay, let's take them all the way out to the side this time with a nice big breath in. Okay, you're gonna flip your palms up towards the ceiling and then bring your hands to behind your head. Okay, we're gonna inhale again to bring the arms out towards the side. You're gonna flip the palms down towards the floor and bring the back of your hands towards your low back. And let's just try that again, last couple times here. Inhaling to come out. Exhaling, palms to the head. Inhaling to come out. Exhaling, back of the hands to low back. Okay, last round, inhaling. Exhaling, hands to the head. Inhaling to T. And exhaling to bring the hands to the lower back. Awesome, okay, just take a moment, shake that out for a little bit, and just start to crawl over onto your hands and your knees. So to start off with, you know, you might just position yourself on all fours and then just take a little bit of movement, maybe exploring a bit of the shoulder rolls moving the head around, letting the whole body sway. And then eventually we're just gonna start to make sure that our shoulders are stacked on top of our wrists, our hips are stacked on top of our knees, and we'll start with some really easy cat cows. So with your next inhale, the belly's gonna drop, the shoulders are squeezing together, the chin and the tailbone lift up. And then as you exhale, you'll push your hands into the floor, round the back, tuck the chin and the tailbone. Okay, let's do that a few more times. A nice big breath in, soften the elbows. Exhaling to push into the floor, round your back. Breathing in for your cow. And breathing out for your cat. When you're ready, you just bring your spine into neutral here. Keep your left hand nice and grounded in towards the floor. And let's use our next breath in to reach the right hand up towards the ceiling. And with your breath out, you're gonna weave it under. It goes behind the left wrist and you reach across, maybe all the way to tap the shoulder down, but we won't stay. So another inhale, we're gonna go up, lift the chest, lift the head and the eyes. And then exhale to go under, find that nice juicy twist, maybe tap the shoulder all the way down. One more time on this side. Let's take the arm back up towards the ceiling and just keep it there for a moment. You're gonna keep your chest opened up towards the side and we're just gonna circle that arm two times in one direction and then two times in the other direction. Gently let your hand come back down onto the floor and just take a moment to be still again so you can see between the right arm and the left arm if something's already maybe feeling a little bit different. We'll take one deep breath in through the nose and a big breath out of the mouth to clear up. Okay, the next inhale, we're gonna do the other side. So ground your right hand down into the floor and breathe in so that the left one can reach all the way up. And exhale to go under, maybe tapping the shoulder. 
and then twice more like that, inhaling with a big reach, exhaling to stretch the back of the shoulder, one more time reaching up, and bringing it under. Let's take that final reach up towards the ceiling, keeping the chest open towards the side. You're going to rotate the arm again twice in one direction. And then two times in the other. Let that hand land down when you're ready. And take a moment again in stillness just to observe if there were any changes after that little bit of a sequence. Okay, to warm up our wrists before we really start to get into our vinyasa portion of the class, let's start to sink our hips down towards our heels. And you're gonna keep the heel of your palms on the floor and just flip your fingers up as if you're telling someone to stop, okay? You're gonna bring yourself back down with the hands and up. And again, just there at home on your own. Do this a couple times here, trying to keep your fingers spread nice and wide. And then the next time that your hands are flipped up, we're gonna hold them up there for three. Reach back with the fingertips, two. Take one more breath in and out. And then slowly start to bring yourself back up onto your hands and your knees. Okay, let's gently start to widen the knees a little bit here. Big toes can come together. The heels are gonna go back towards the heels. The hips are gonna go back towards the heels. Slide your hands forward. Then with your next big breath in, you're going to bring your shoulders on top of your wrist. You might want to bring your knees together. You're going to drop your hips down and open up the heart. And we're going to exhale to bring the hips towards the heels, the forehead towards the knees. And we're going to inhale again to come towards our upward facing dog. Belly drops, heart shines forward. And last time, bringing ourselves into a child's pose. And then finding that same upward facing dog. Okay, start to come in towards a neutral position, stacking the wrist underneath the shoulders. Start to walk your right foot back and then your left foot back to find a bit of a plank. And just observe how your hands, how your wrists, how your shoulders and arms are handling the weight here. We'll take one deep breath in. And then with your exhale, we're gonna go to our downward facing dog. Let's flow a few times before we really start to settle in. So with your next breath in, bring yourself forward to a plank. With your next breath out, go back to downward facing dog. Breathe in again for your plank. And out for your downward facing dog. One more time, big breath in to come forward. Exhale into your downward facing dog and just take a moment there to see how the legs are feeling. Maybe shake the head yes and no a couple times. I like to pedal out my feet, bending one knee, dropping the heel of the other foot. Might be interesting to try lifting up both heels, maybe bending both knees. Take another few breaths here just to see what's going on for you and your downward facing dog today. Okay, one more big breath in and out. Then let's slowly start to lift the heels, bend the knees, look towards your hands, and just step your feet towards the top of your mat. Okay? Give yourself a check second here to just hang. So knees are nice and soft, head is going to go heavy. The hands are going to maybe go towards opposite elbows. Maybe shake the arms a little bit, shake the head a little bit. Maybe shake the whole torso a little bit. Just hang out here for another two deep breaths in and out. And then whenever you're ready, you're going to start to release your hands from opposite elbows. Bring them to your shins instead and use your next breath in for a halfway lift. Spine is nice and long, shoulders are rolled back. And as you exhale, we're going to come back down to fold. Let's do two more halfway lifts. A deep breath in here to lengthen the spine. And an exhale to fold back down. Last one, inhaling to lengthen the spine. Exhale to lower. We'll use this next breath in now to go all the way up towards the ceiling. So ground down through the heels so that the hands can reach up. 
And then as you exhale, you're gonna take your hands down, maybe stacking the palms over the heart. Close the eyes again for a moment and just observe. Maybe noticing the heart beating beneath your hands. Maybe notice the breath. Let's take one big inhale here together. And a big exhale out. You can start to release your hands down by your side. Reset your feet if you need to. And then starting our vinyasas from here. We're going to breathe in to reach the arms up nice and high. Looking towards the thumbs. And then as you exhale, you can hinge through your hips and come down to fold. Breathing in for your halfway lift, maybe hands on shins or knees. And then as you exhale, just slowly float your hands all the way down towards the floor and step your feet back into a plank pose. Let's hold that plank pose for a moment with the belly squeezing in. The legs are turned on. The hands are pushing in towards the floor. We're going to take a deep breath in and out. And then instead of starting with a traditional vinyasa, let's bring our knees down towards the floor for a tabletop position. Okay, your arms are going to stay straight here, so there's going to be no bend in the elbows, but we're going to try doing a closed chain movement with that same protraction and retraction. So whenever you're ready, you're going to start to let the shoulder blades squeeze together behind you. The chest will lower. The arms are not moving. They're not bending. And then you're going to push into the floor here to widen the shoulder blades on your back. So it's really just your shoulder blades moving along the back of your rib cage. You're going to, again, sink chest down, bring chest up, squeeze shoulders together, widen shoulders apart. Just try doing that movement another two or three times there on your own. Just trying to get a little bit of work here. And then the next time that your shoulder blades are wide on your back, we're going to hold it like that. Start to tuck the toes and lift your hips up and back into a downward facing dog. Still maintaining the shoulder blades wide on the back. Let's bring the feet a little bit closer together now. And we're going to use our next inhale to reach the right leg up towards the ceiling. Okay. With your exhale, you're going to step your right foot forward in between your hands. The ankle ends up underneath the knee. Take your time to reach your arms up finding your balance. Let's just stay here for a moment, observing how we feel in our first lunge. You know, maybe tweaking things, wiggling hips around a little bit, making sure that our feet are wide enough that we feel steady. Then we're going to start to let the hands come out to the T position again. Palms are up towards the ceiling and the hands are going to connect to the back of the head. Okay, we're going to keep our legs nice and strong here and with our next inhale, you're going to draw your elbows back, shoulder blades squeezed together. And with your next exhale, you're going to draw your elbows forward. Your shoulder blades should widen along the back. Okay, two more times. Inhaling to open up the elbows. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Exhaling to bring the elbows together in front, widening shoulder blades apart. Okay, one more time. Breath in. And breath out. Let's find ourselves in a more or less neutral place in the shoulders, elbows, and elbows. Then we're going to get a little bit hotter by taking that back knee down to hover just above the mat. Turn your legs on. And then we're also going to take the hands away from the back of the head as far as we can so that they can all hover there in their own space. We're going to stay for three, two, and one. Inhale to reach up with the arms. We've been straightened out both legs. And as you exhale, you're going to hinge, bring the hands down towards the floor and the right foot back into your plank pose. Holding again in that plank pose for one breath in and out. Let's bring the knees down again for a tabletop position. And then just like what we did before, you're going to squeeze the shoulder blades together and then widen shoulder blades apart. And you can take this movement kind of at your own pace. Do another two or three retractions and protractions. And then let's all meet up with the shoulder blades wide on the back. Start to tuck your toes, keeping the shoulder blades wide on the back. Lift your hips up for downward facing dog. Take a moment to assess what the legs are feeling. Maybe a couple pedaling out of the knees. And then we'll start to bring the feet back together again. Lifting the left leg up with a big inhale. Let's use our exhales to step the left foot forward in between our hands. Taking your time to find your balance, slowly reach your arms up 
towards the ceiling. Hey, again, maybe a quick wiggle through the hips. Maybe a check in with how your stance is in this lunge. And then we're gonna let the hands come out to a T position. The palms are going down towards the floor this time. And the back of the hands are gonna connect with the lower back. So we're gonna stack the protraction and retraction on top of this position, just like we did with the head. So with your next inhale, elbows are gonna reach back, shoulders squeeze together. And with your exhale, elbows are gonna reach forward, shoulder blades should widen apart. Two more times, inhaling back, exhaling forward, inhaling back, exhaling forward. Come into neutral with the elbows and the shoulders. Drop that back knee to hover just above the mat. Move your hands away from your lower back as much as you can and everything will just hover in space for three, two, and one. You can release the hands, breathe in to straighten up both legs. Mm. And as you exhale, we're hinging. We're dropping the hands down and stepping the left foot back into the plank. Hold the plank this time for two breaths. Nice deep inhales and exhales. Hands are pressing into the floor. Legs are included in this position. And then for the final time, we'll bring the knees down towards the floor. We'll start to squeeze the shoulder blades together and widen them apart. Shoulder blades together, widen them apart. Take this at your own pace. Gather whatever information you can about the way your shoulders move, if one moves more or with better quality. And then after doing maybe another two, we're gonna meet up again here with the shoulder blades nice and wide on the back. The toes are gonna start to tuck and we're gonna lift our hips up and back to downward facing dog. We'll be here this time for five deep breaths. So you can pedal out the feet, shake the head out. Maybe take a vinyasa if you're already craving one. You know, in the privacy of your own home, you really have a chance to explore how these positions, how these poses, how this practice makes you feel. So let's spend another deep inhale and exhale here in our downward facing dog. And then whenever you're ready, you're gonna to start to breathe in so that the heels can come up off the floor, the knees bend, we look towards the hands. And as you exhale, you can step or hop your feet towards the front of your mat. Let's take the hands to the shins or the knees, breathing in for a halfway lift. Then breathing out here to hinge and fold back down. Next breath in, we're gonna reach all the way up towards the ceiling, ground down through your feet. It's a big lift, maybe look towards your thumbs. And as you exhale, the hands are going to come down in front of the heart. Close your eyes again for a moment. Soften through the knees. Relax your shoulders and the skin of your face. Take one deep breath in and out. Then when you're ready, you can start to relax the hands down by your side. Roll out the shoulders. Maybe shake things out just a little bit. Okay, set up your feet for how you like to do your chair pose. Some people are big toes together, heels apart. I personally like having about feet dis uh, hip distance between my feet. We're gonna leave our hands down by the side for right now. Taking one big breath in and out to lift up through the heels. And with your next exhale, just drop your heels back down and get really grounded. Take your arms out towards a T position. Start to sink your hips nice and low as you bring the hands towards the back of your head. With your next inhale, we're gonna straighten through the legs, arms go back out to T position. But this time with the exhale, we're gonna sink our hips low and the back of the hands go to the low back. Okay, let's wrap that a few times here. So we're gonna inhale, T position, legs straight. Exhale, bend elbows, palms to the back of your head. Inhale, T position with the arms, legs straight. And exhale, back of your hands to your low back. Again, breathing in and out. Breathing in, hands to your lower back. We'll do two more pairs, inhaling. Palms to the head with your exhale. Inhale, back of the hands to low back with your exhale. Last one, we're gonna inhale. We're gonna sink into our chair pose, hands to the back of the head. We're gonna stay there for a moment and pulse for three, 
two, and one. Straighten the leg, arms to T, breathe in. And breathe out to flip the back of the hands to the low back. And pulse again for three, two, and one. It's a nice big reach up, legs straight. And then we exhale to hinge and fold. Inhale to your halfway lift, heads on shins, knees. Maybe they stay on the floor. And as you exhale, hinge again, connect your hands, step your feet back into a plank pose. Let's hold that plank pose again for a bit with the shoulder blades nice and wide on the back, belly squeezed in. Take one more big breath. And with this exhale, lower your knees down, but not underneath your hips, more in like a mini plank. So hips are still forward. It's a nice straight line from your shoulders to your knees. We're gonna try loading that same movement a little bit more. So you can always choose to go back to tabletop at any point. But let's see how it feels with a little bit more weight to retract the shoulders, squeezing the shoulder blades together and protract them, feel them widen apart. Do a couple more of those movements here on your own. Then the next time that you have your shoulder blades widened apart, let's keep it there. We're gonna start to build a little bit of arm strength work into this class. So shoulder blades stay nice and wide apart. We're gonna take a breath in. And as you exhale, you're gonna start to bend your elbows, coming down to about 90 degrees. And then we're gonna push back up. Keep your shoulder blades nice and wide, tuck the toes if they're not already. Lift your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Okay, pedal out the feet again a little bit here, maybe shaking the head yes and no for one more breath in and out. And then whenever you're ready, you're gonna to start to reach your right leg up with an inhale. And with your exhale, let's step the right foot through in between the hands. Before we stand up, we're going to drop our back heel down, preparing ourselves for warrior one. Start to connect through both heels and lift your arms nice and high. Okay, just be here again for a moment. Make sure your feet are where you want them to be. You should feel nice and balanced. And then identify your right arm. Your right arm is going to bend and you're gonna rest your elbow on the fleshy part of your thigh. Okay, your palm can stay up towards the ceiling and we'll move just that left hand. Okay, so we're gonna breathe in for the arm to reach up towards the ceiling. And as you breathe out, you're gonna take your left hand, palm to the back of the head. Okay, you're gonna inhale again to reach it up. With this exhale, you internally rotate and bring the back of the hand to low back. Okay, a few more times like that, nice and low in that lunge. Inhale, arm up. Exhale, palm to the back of your head. Inhale up, exhale back of the hand to low back. Okay, one more pair, inhaling to come up, exhaling palm to the head, inhale to come up, exhale back of the hand to low back. Okay, with your next breath in, reach the left hand up towards the ceiling and then meet it with your right hand coming back into warrior one. Take one deep breath in and out. Maybe using that exhale to deepen through the lungs just a bit, and then we're gonna straighten out both legs. Arms are gonna come up to a T position. So we want our chest and our hips to be facing the left side of our mats. We're gonna keep a soft bend in both of our knees. And after one more deep inhale to lengthen through the spine, we're gonna exhale to hinge through that right hip, reaching forward, and then dropping the right hand down to the inside of the right foot. Left arm can reach up towards the ceiling. So for your triangle pose, maybe today you can just try focusing on making sure you're keeping a whole lot of space between your right shoulder and your right hip. So it's not so much of a curve. The spine is straight as if you were standing, even if that means you have to come a little bit higher up. Okay? So let's breathe here for another two deep breaths in and out. And then for the next two breaths, you can maybe just stay here, or if you want to add a little bit of extra challenge, you can start to take that top hand to reach towards the front, okay? And maybe even that bottom hand. We can be here for three, two, and on the one, lift yourself all the way back up on top of your hips, and relax your arms down, maybe giving them a quick swing around. 
So whereas in the first sequence we had a little bit of isolation with just the one arm, we're going to do something similar, but the whole body is going to want to be connected. So let yourself free up a little bit there at home. Rebend your front knee, okay? Same idea, but instead of resting this front arm, this right elbow onto the thigh, we're going to let it move. So the first inhale, we're going to take that left hand back, up, it reaches all the way towards the front. Right hand goes in front of the belly and reaches. Okay, you're going to inhale again to take the back of the hand towards the low back, but the right hand this time is going to reverse the warrior. Let's try that a couple more times. Exhaling to come forward. Inhaling to reverse the warrior. Okay, twice more. Inhaling, reach it back. Last one. Inhaling to go back. Take your arms to cartwheel all the way down towards the floor this time. Pick up that back heel, step your right foot back towards the plank. And again, just holding that plank there for a moment with your whole body engaged. Everything is nice and toned and turned on. Just try to keep your face relaxed. Take one more big breath in. Then lowering the knees down again into that mini plank. Try a few times squeezing shoulder blades together, widening them apart. And then the next time that you have your shoulder blades wide apart, keep them there. Take a breath in. We're going to try for two push-ups this time. So the elbows are going to bend, lower your chest about halfway down. And then push back up. Exhale, lower your chest halfway down. And push back up. Okay, let's start to lift the hips up and back towards our downward facing dog. Give yourself a second to stay still, to breathe and to feel. Let's spend another breath in and out here. And then slowly start to bring your feet back together. Time to do the other side. So the left leg is gonna reach up towards the ceiling this time. And then with your exhale, you're stepping your left foot forward in between your hands, ankle underneath the knee. Before you even stand up, drop that back heel down to the floor, roughly 45 degree angle, and press through both of your heels to find that stability to lift yourself to your warrior one. Okay, stay there for a moment. Connect with your legs. Make sure you have a nice, strong, and steady base. Relax the shoulders a little bit. Let's start to identify left hand this time. Left elbow is gonna to go to the meaty part of your thigh, not right on the knee. So a little bit higher there, okay? Right hand is reaching up towards the ceiling with an inhale. First exhale, we're taking that palm to the back of the head. We inhale again to go up, keep your chest nice and open. Internally rotate your shoulder and bring the back of the hand to your low back. Inhaling again to go up. Exhaling, palm to the back of the head. Okay. Inhaling to go up. Exhaling, back of the head to low back. Okay, one more pair. Inhaling up. Exhale, palm to the head. Inhaling up. Exhaling, back of the head towards the low back. Okay, let's bring that arm back up towards the ceiling. Okay, meet it with the left arm, coming back into your warrior one. Okay, taking one deep breath in, deepening that lunge with the breath out, and then straightening out both of the legs. Arms are gonna come out to a T position once again. Knees are soft. We're gonna take a breath in here to lengthen through the spine, and with the exhale, you're hinging through that left hip to reach forward. The back of your left hand can come down to the inside of the left leg. Right hand can reach up towards the ceiling. And same idea, instead of bending through the side ribs to get a little bit lower, prioritize keeping your back nice and straight, your chest opened up towards the right, and the hands reaching in opposite directions. Another two breaths here. or perhaps we can take that right hand to reach towards the front and maybe even the left, holding it there for a little bit of the core work for three, two, and on the one, we're bringing ourselves all the way back up. Relax your arms for a second, maybe even swing them out, roll the shoulders around. 
Okay, same thing we did before, incorporating a little bit more movement through the upper body as we do similar stuff for the shoulders. Let's re-bend that left knee again. Left hand is going to reach across in front of the belly. Right hand is going to sweep up and towards the front. And then we inhale to take the right hand towards the back. Left hand reverses the warrior. Okay, exhale again to reach it forward. Inhale to reach it back, reverse. Two more times, exhaling forward. Inhaling back. Exhaling forward. Inhaling back. This time we're gonna let the hands cartwheel all the way down towards the floor. We're picking up that back heel and stepping the left foot into the plank. And we're gonna hold it here again, nice strong toned body, hands are pressing into the floor, glutes are on. Taking one more deep breath in and out. <sighs> Bring the knees down towards the floor for that mini plank again. Running through a few repetitions of retraction and protraction for the shoulders. Then we're moving ourselves up to three little push-ups here. So keep your shoulder blades nice and wide on your back. Take a breath in. With your breath out, you're gonna bend your elbows, come halfway down, and then we're pushing back up. Good job. We're gonna bend elbows again, come halfway down. Push back up. One more time, bending elbows, come halfway down. Push it all the way back up, widen the knees, sink your hips down to a child's pose. Let your forehead rest along the mat. Taking a few breaths in, maybe keeping the elbows off the floor if you want this to be a more active stretch, or maybe you've already done a lot of work and you can just let yourself really relax into it, considering even moving your hands away from the front and bringing towards your feet instead. Take three nice deep breaths in and out here. And when you're ready, if you moved your hands away from the front of your mat, bring them back. Start to lift your hips up. Start to tuck your toes and come back and towards a downward facing dog. And after doing all of that work in the shoulders, let's just see what we're able to accomplish here in this downward facing dog. So keeping yourself with your belly in, shoulder blades nice and wide on the back, start to just have your right fingertips tented on your mat. So we're loading that left arm, left shoulder a little bit more. And then if you're able to do a bit more, you can even try letting that right hand come all the way off the floor, hovering it there for three, two, and on the one, we'll bring the right hand back down. Let's explore the situation for the right shoulder this time. So locking down right hand into the floor, left fingertips on the floor. That might be enough of a challenge for you, but if you're wanting to go further, lift the left hand off the floor and hold it for three, two, and one. Bring your head all the way down. Take a moment, shake the head yes and no, pedal up the feet a little bit. We're gonna take one more deep breath in and out here in this downward facing dog. And then when you're ready, you're gonna to start to let your heels lift, your knees bend, look towards your hands, and with your exhale, step or hop your feet to the front. Okay, let's inhale to come halfway up, hands stay on the floor, maybe shins, maybe knees. As you exhale, fold back down. Then with this breath in, we rise nice and high, we look up towards the thumbs, and as you exhale, start to take your hands again in front of the heart. Take a moment here to see how you feel on your feet, softening the knees, softening the muscles in the face and the jaw. Take one big inhale through the nose and big exhale out the mouth. Start to let your hands drop down beside you. Maybe give your arms a quick little swing here. Okay, find your feet once again, how you like them for your chair pose. <clears throat> Bring your hands down towards the floor, same sequence that we did last time. You're gonna inhale to take your arms out to T. 
And as you exhale, the hips are gonna sink down and the palms are gonna go to the back of the head, but this time we're not gonna let them actually touch, okay? You're gonna inhale to take your arms back out to T, legs go straight, flip the back of your hands to the front, exhale, hands to the lower back without letting them actually touch. Okay, again, inhale up. Exhale, hands towards the back of your head. Okay, inhale up. Exhale, hands towards low back. Let's do it two more times. Inhaling to come up. Exhaling, hands towards the back of your head. Inhaling to come up. And exhaling, back of the hands towards your low back. Come all the way up towards the front. Reach arms towards the ceiling. And with this exhale, we'll hinge and fold all the way down. Breathe in for your halfway lift. Nice, strong, straight spine. And as you exhale, the hands are going to plant down. The feet are going to step back. So now, we haven't done a real vinyasa. Not a real vinyasa, but we haven't done chaturanga just yet. So options are to follow through here. We're going to do a bunch of slow flows. So the knees can be down like we were practicing before, or you can keep yourself in a full plank. We're going to do every sequence, every posit, like transition for a count of four. So we're going to take our inhale here in the plank pose. We're going to exhale to slowly lower down through chaturanga for four, three, two, one. Tops of the feet against the mat. Lift to up dog slow for four, three, two, one. One, hike your hips up nice and slow to down dog for four, three, two, one. Take a moment here, assess how that made you feel. We're gonna be repping that another three times. So again, you can take it at your own speed. I mean, you're in the privacy of your own home, so you can really do what you want. You can keep your knees down, or you can do it with the toes on the floor, right? So we're gonna take one more deep breath in and out. With the next inhale, we're gonna bring ourselves forward to plank for one, two, three, four. We're going down to chaturanga for one, two, three, four. Slow to up dog for one, two, three, four. Slow to down dog for one, two, three, four. Take a moment, breathing. Let's take an inhale together and an exhale out. Again, coming towards plank, nice and slow for one, two, three, four. Chaturanga slow, one, two, three, four. To up dog slow, one, two, three, four. Down dog, one, two, three, four. Take a moment. Couple deep breaths in and out. Notice what your arms are feeling, what your shoulders are feeling. Let's take another breath here. And then again, nice and slow. Inhale to plank for four, three, two, one. Slow chaturanga, four, three, two, one. Slow to up dog, four, three, two, one. Slow to down dog, four, three, Two, one, take a moment. Take a few breaths. Notice how you feel. Let's take our final inhale and exhale here. Then with your next breath in, lift your heels up, bend your knees, look forward. And with your exhale, step or hop your feet to the front of your mat. Breathe in for your halfway lift. It's a nice long spine, belly in, shoulders retracted. Exhale to fold. And inhale for this nice juicy big reach up towards the ceiling. Exhaling to take the hands down in front of the heart. Pause there for a moment. Acknowledge any changes of sensation that you feel in your body. Take one big breath in through the nose and big breath out of the mouth. 
We're gonna let our arms come down towards the floor and we're gonna swing them out a few times here, just casually. And then we're gonna make this motion a little bit bigger, okay? So even just stay on your own, you can start to let the arms swing a little bit higher. And you're really wanting to find that nice feeling of uh, release when they come down, okay? So what we can do is start to add the upper body in this. Make sure you have enough space around you. And the next time that your arms are swinging down, you're gonna let your whole chest come down too. We can breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Take a few rounds of this there on your own, finding that nice sensation of release as you just drop your body, drop your worries, drop your ego. Another two. Last one. Let's all meet up with our arms reaching towards the ceiling, maybe widening them, maybe lifting the chin and this feeling of glory here for a moment, breathing in and breathing out to slowly lower the hands back down on top of your heart. Look for your heartbeat. Slow down your breath. Soften your knees and your jaw. Let's start to wind it down towards our mats, letting the hands hang down beside us. Rolling the shoulders around a couple times before we begin our final sun salutation. With feet that are really grounded, inhale to reach up towards the ceiling. And exhale to hinge and fold. Inhaling to lift halfway up. Exhaling to plant the hands down, step or hop your feet back to the plank pose. Take any bits of movement here that you would like. A full vinyasa, a slow vinyasa, a few rounds of protraction and retraction. Whatever it is that your body is asking for, trust it. We'll meet up in downward facing dog. So last time we're dog of the class, so take these next five breaths to really just enjoy it, explore it. Let's take the final breath in and out together. Inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Slowly start to bring yourself all the way down towards a tabletop position. The hands are underneath the shoulders and the knees are underneath the hips. Let's do a little bit of cat-cow. Inhaling to drop the belly, soften the elbows, lift the chin and the tailbone. Exhale to round the back, tucking the chin, tucking the tailbone, pushing into the floor with the hands. Inhale to drop the belly, elbows soft. Exhale to round the back. Bring yourself into a neutral spine, similar to what we did before at the beginning of class, but we'll hold the stretch this time. You're grounding your left hand in towards the floor. We're lifting our right hand up towards the ceiling. We're gonna exhale to weave it under, going behind the left wrist, but this time we're gonna let the shoulder come all the way down. The cheek's gonna come all the way down. You can take your left hand and reach it towards the front of the mat. Others might find it really juicy to take that hand up and move the back of the hand towards the right hip. Okay, your choice, your practice, your body. Let's stay here for three deep breaths. Last deep inhale and exhale. Then we're gonna slowly start to let that left hand come back down in front of the face. Push into it to lift your body back up. Taking your time to plant your right hand down as well and just observing in stillness what you feel, where you feel it. Ground your right hand down in towards the floor so that your next breath in can be used to lift your left hand up towards the ceiling. And then with your exhale, we're gonna weave it under. Shoulder drops, cheek drops. 
The right hand can either stay where it is, it can reach towards the front of your mat, or you can lift it up, internally rotate, and bring the back of the hand to your left hip. Three deep breaths here. One more inhale and exhale. Then we all replace the right hand back down in front of the face. Push into it so that you can set yourself back up in a tabletop position. If a little bit of cat-cow here or any other types of movements through the spine would feel nice, take a moment here to move how you want to move. And then eventually we're going to start to widen the knees, bring the big toes together, the hips down towards the heels, and the hands are going to slide all the way forward. Let's stay in the middle there for a second and let's keep this child's pose active. So your hands are pressing to the floor, elbows are not resting down, you're maybe even inching your fingertips a little further if there's still more room to stretch. Then after taking another deep inhale and exhale in the center, Let's walk our hands towards the left, maybe stacking the right hand on top, and then just sinking the chest and the hip back down. Take one more deep breath in and out on that side. Then at your own pace, you're gonna pass the center, go all the way over towards the right, stacking the left hand on top of the right hand, and then sinking the hips and the chest back down. Taking one more deep breath in and out there. Let's come back in towards the middle. Your choice for how your hands and your arms are. You can relax them all the way down. Maybe even bring them towards your feet once again and just spend another two or three breaths here in the center. And then slowly starting to bring yourself back up, letting your legs come out from underneath you to find yourself in a seat. You can sit cross-legged, roll the shoulders around a couple times, okay. We're going to start with our right hand on our left knee, okay. Left hand is going to do a bit of the movement here. So with your next inhale, you're going to reach it back. You're going to arc it all the way up and over so that eventually it connects with the opposite knee. And then we're just going to repeat that a few times. So let's release the left hand this time. Inhaling to twist it back. Exhaling to arc it all the way over. Connect with the left knee. Inhale, right arm, left arm goes back. Exhale, left hand arcs over to right knee. Okay, let's do another pair. Inhaling back. Exhaling, arcing back to the knee. One more, inhale back. Exhale up and over to the knee. Slowly just let your arms uncross. Rewind into the movement we did at the very beginning of class. Take a second here to roll out the shoulders a couple times. You're gonna pull back on the knees here so that the heart can shine forward. You can lift the chest and the chin. And then you're exhaling to round the back, tucking the chin in, leaning into your seated cow pose. Two more times, inhaling to pull back on the knees, heart shines forward, chin lifts. Exhaling to round it back. Last one, it's a big lift forward. And we bring it all the way back. Okay, find yourself here in a neutral spine. Release your hands away from your knees and try interlacing your fingers behind you instead. It may be enough just to find your arms going towards straight. If you have a little bit more room and more, more mobility in your shoulders, you can start to let the hands lift away from your lower back. Okay, it can float 
above behind you. So let's just hold it here. Try to keep your spine as neutral as you can. Take another two deep breaths in and out. And then we're gonna gently start to release that, undo the arms, shake out the shoulders and the hands maybe a little bit, and then start to straighten your legs out towards the front of your mat. We'll do one forward fold here before we lay all the way back down. So you might take a second to walk your hips backwards in space, or sometimes I'll grab my thighs and turn my inner thighs down and outer thighs up. My feet are flex, especially the pinky side of your toes. You're trying to reach it all back towards your face. Let's just have the hands down by our thighs, and this might even just be enough for some of you, maybe even hands behind, okay? You're gonna take a breath in here to lift the chest up nice and high, again, as if there's that string pulling the top of your head towards the ceiling, and then as you exhale, you're hinging through the hips, so you're trying to move belly button towards your thighs. Find that flexion in the hips first, and then it's your choice whether or not you wanna maybe start to reach the hands a little bit further forward, maybe they go onto ankles, maybe they connect with your feet, okay? Chest can stay up nice and bright with the spine long, but it might be something beneficial for you in today's practice to actually let the head come all the way down and maybe the back even round a little bit here. Okay, let's take another breath in and out. And then we're gonna slowly start to let the spine stack up again. Shoulders on top of the hips. This time we're gonna point through the toes and reach the hands forward. Okay, we're gonna take one deep breath in and out. And then nice and slowly, we're gonna start to roll ourselves all the way down towards the floor. Okay, you might let the arms reach up overhead. Once you land down, you can point through the toes and reach through the fingertips for one big full body stretch. And then when you're ready, relax through that. Bring the right knee in towards the belly. Take a second to squeeze the thigh down in towards you. And then we're gonna leave the left hand on the right knee. The right arm is gonna go out towards a T position. And you're gonna use your left hand to draw your right knee across for a twist. Try to keep your right shoulder down on the floor. And you can even try turning your chin here to look towards your right hand. And you can stay there for another two deep breaths. Gently start to bring yourself back and towards the middle, maybe giving that knee a final squeeze down and towards your belly. And then you're gonna let the right leg come out to straight. The left knee is gonna bend in. The hands are gonna press the thigh down towards the stomach. And then we're gonna let the right hand stay connected to the knee where the left will go out to a T position. We'll draw the left knee over towards the right to find the twist, but we're gonna keep that left shoulder down towards the floor and perhaps even turn our chin towards that shoulder. Take two deep breaths here. Gently start to unwind your body back in towards the middle. Use your hands to give your left thigh one last little press down and towards your belly. And then you can leave your left thigh there and just bring your right thigh up to meet it. Rock a little bit from side to side. And then as a way to finish off your practice in a real personal style, just give yourself the next moment here to move however you would like to move. You might take a little bit of a happy baby pose, maybe a bridge. We're slowly starting to close down the practice. So whenever you're ready, you're gonna to start to let your body come back into a Shavasana. And this Shavasana can be any type of Shavasana that you'd like, right? You can have your legs and your arms all the way out onto the floor. It might be more comfortable for the lower back to have the knees bend at some point and have them rest together. Okay, so just start to choose the position that you'll rest in. The beauty about this practice online is that you can legit stay here as long as you want. So bring yourself into stillness. Take a couple of breaths in and out together. Inhaling through the nose. 
exhaling out the mouth and maybe just one more collective sigh inhaling through the nose and out the mouth stay as long as you'd like thank you all so much for practicing with me again this morning it's so nice to have spent this time with you all have an amazing weekend everybody